people don't begin to ask me, say, after the match between Aston Villa and Manchester United, say, how far about the future of Eric Tenang? So, your answer there for this video, as I bring all the latest news when concerning the top flight teams today for Euro come like this. So, as you see the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and don't forget to drop your question or your opinion under the comment section as I bring news when concerning Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Man City, and Manchester United. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to start from the side of Arsenal, as I know, say the guy they call Omar Mamosh, where they bought for Eltar at Frankfurt. The guy is a very good player, a striker, a winger. The guy they play as an attacker. The guy scored a brace, that is two goals against where they call Bayern Munich today. So the guy talks say he would like to join either Arsenal or Liverpool. So as he be like this now, I know Arsenal need a striker. So Arsenal will make the guy their number one target from now to go for at the end of this current season. As Eta Frankfurt said, he would like to send the guy for this January. So I believe that Arsenal get the upper hand to sign because Liverpool will need a striker like that for now. So, so it's an opportunity for Arsenal to go for the guy at the end of this current season. So we will begin to monitor the news from now henceforth as the guy say he would like to play for either Liverpool or Arsenal. So if Arsenal decide to go for this guy, personal term will become a problem on that aspect. So on the side of Manchester City, the keeper they call Edan Sina yet to say PSG don't put the guy in for granted they would like to sign at the end of this season. Only if the guy decide to join them, maybe they can replace the person they call Dora Ruma, I mean Dora Ruma. So people they call PSG like this cannot begin to monitor Manchester City number one. So they would like to sign them only if the guy will agree to join them. So on the side of FC Barcelona and about Pesce they call Sandy where they bought for Bayern Munich. Sandy like this now renew contract with Bayern Munich and Bayern they destroy the guy but the guy never talk anything yet. So back I say if the guy no agree to sign new contract with Bayern Munich when he day as a free agent at the end of the season so they would like to go sign them from Bayern Munich as a free agent. So on the side of Real Madrid now bad the guy they call Cabajal. Normally the guy contract will expire at the end of this season. So Madrid regular to give him a year contract. So when the guy pick up in injury, when people begin to pity for the guy, Madrid got decided to give the guy two years contract when he won't shock the guy. So Madrid see one by Arnold and they thought say they got to wait. Maybe they know that Arnold will need contact with Liverpool before they go approach to go sign the guy as a free agent. Say if the guy extend the contract to Liverpool, then they say they're not going to go for that. So they're not going to spend any dime for the guy ahead. So then they wait for Arnold to say no to Liverpool before they go call the guy as a free agent. But as he be like this now, yet also Liverpool get everything it takes to give the guy a new contract. As the guy said they wait for Liverpool to table him a new contract. So this is what we talk about Liverpool now. As I yet say how Ali where they bought for Saudi Arabia, that club. Now I yet they wait patiently for Van Dyke and Mosala to collect them as a free agent should in case they decide not to sign a new contract to Liverpool. So I love Saudi Arabia, they, they wait for Mosala and Van Dyke when Liverpool never decide to give them a new contract like this now. So, so the side of Chelsea they are here to begin to monitor the guy where they call Karim Adeyemi where they for Blue Side Dortmund. Before they be talking about the guy, but based on the Sancho issue, you mean they come on their mind for Pesce they call Karim Adeyemi. So as if like this now here to Chelsea they monitor the progress of the guy alongside with Liverpool. So at the year Chelsea say if they would like to send the guy with around 50 million euros, then they say they would like to buy the guy at the end of this current season. So Chelsea they consider to buy Karim Adeyemi from Blue Side Dortmund with around 50 million euros. And still on Chelsea the year to see so say Chelsea players and they get the highest local now for Premier League assistant. And the year Premier League they find a way to find them to pay the sum of fifty to seventy thousand pounds as their compensation. Say they go pay them for what they do concerning yellow cards. They collect yellow cards anyhow. I mean Chelsea players. And on the side of Manchester United, about the future of Eric Ten Hag after the match with Aston Villa. And the year to see the board. They to see they go like to meet for Manchester. Maybe they discuss about what they see so far for the past two matches against FC Porto and against Aston Villa from away. And they to see after that one, when they go meet for Manchester, they will come go London on Tuesday. Maybe they go for the latest stuff. So Eric Ten Hag future like now. He did fifty fifty like this assistant. So as Eric Ten Hag himself voice I say not really. Go on concerning Saki Hill, like they say, if they say the people they did by own side. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wait from now till at least on Thursday. We can hear the outcome of Eric Tenak Fusion. So, 